Another saga is gonna be about managers in the summer. We know many clubs are busy with that. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Fabrizio Romano here as always to keep you posted on the transfer market. Today, guys, we touch on some news for Chelsea involving also Fulham and Armando Broya. Something to discuss also on Kylian Mbappé and the situation of Julian Nagelsmann. Let's jump into it together. <music> It's important days for um, the transfer market, important days to prepare the summer transfer window, important days for managers, so many things to discuss. But today, on Saturday, Chelsea will receive four million pounds from Fulham because in the agreement they did at the end of January with Fulham for Armando Broya, Chelsea included a specific clause. Four million pounds were guaranteed for Chelsea as a clause in case Broya was not going to start at least 10 games in this second part of the season at Fulham. It was kind of guarantee, like play Armando as you wanted him on loan, otherwise you have to pay us. And this is what's going to happen, because Broya doesn't play for Fulham today, and so for Chelsea it means four million pounds to be made as soon as possible, so already in the next weeks Chelsea will receive this money, adding this money to the financial fair play count. Obviously, this is not going to make a huge difference, but he's already part of something. Lewis Hall and Newcastle, this money from Armando Broya, they will keep going with, South, uh, with some uh, departure in the summer before the end of June to help with financial fair play rules and so one more for Chelsea because Armando Broya will return to the club there is a chance for him to leave Chelsea in the summer in any case we will see where he's going what's going to be the formula of the deal so keep an eye on that one for Armando Broya but meanwhile Chelsea will receive four million pounds from Fulham what's important to say is that also today there was a video around in the web about Kylian Mbappé uh, saying in very clear way that he's not going to Arsenal uh, a fan a youtuber asked him about that possibility to join Arsenal, but Kylian has been very clear, was joking about that, something like, no way, it's too cold or there, and also... It's important to uh, point one more time that Kylian Mbappé is in advance at all with Real Madrid and everything is going in the right direction, uh, just taking their time to discuss the final details, then to uh, get the contract signed, so everything is proceeding very well. No panic, no alarm between uh, Kylian Mbappé and Real Madrid and also Mbappé has no intention to discuss with any other club so far. He didn't even start contacts or negotiations with Arsenal, with English clubs or clubs from any other part of the world. But full focus is on completing the season with Paris Saint-Germain and then joining Real Madrid. This is the idea and this remains valid for the Kylian Mbappé saga, waiting for him to sign the contract. Another saga is going to be about managers in the summer. We know many clubs are busy with that. We know that Bayern and Liverpool are in a fight for Xabi Alonso. We know, I told you here on YouTube and I keep repeating today, keep an eye on Ruben Amorim, sporting managers, because, manager, because many clubs are keeping an eye to Ruben Amorim, uh, clubs in England, so he's appreciated in the Premier League we already say that he could be one of the names for Liverpool in addition to Xabi Alonso but we know that Xabi Alonso is wanted by, by, by both Bayern and Liverpool so Ruben Amorim is another candidate for Liverpool let's see what's going to happen at other clubs also so Amorim could be a name to watch but Julian Nagelsmann said that he's ready, he could be ready, to sign with the club before the Euros. What's the point? Nagelsmann is under contract with the German national team, with the German federation, till the end of the Euros. Then the idea for him could be to sign for a new club now, before the Euros. So between March, April, May, we will see the timing. And then in June, full focus on the Euros. Then joining the club right after, in July. What's the point? Nagelsmann is still taking his time, so he wants to see what are the possibilities around Europe before deciding. He's not forced uh, of signing a contract before the Euros, but that's a possibility. There is interest from Borussia Dortmund. My information is that they want to replace Terzic at the end of the season. It's a really concrete possibility for Terzic to go and leave the club at the end of the season. So Borussia Dortmund are looking at managers and Nagelsmann is one of them. But let's see if there is some other possibility. For sure, Nagelsmann could be ready to sign before the Euros. So Keep an eye on the German manager. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on all these stories, including Nagelsmann, Mbappé, Chelsea, Armando Broglie. I wait for your opinion here in the comments. Remember to like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel. See you soon. We Fabrizio. Ciao.